How many days after your period can you get pregnant? I welcome you to our channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that has been asked many times. How many days after your periods can you get pregnant? Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel and I'm really so happy that you have joined me on this lesson today. So, how many days after your periods can you get pregnant? To answer this question, the most important thing we need to take from this uh, question is that when we are looking at how many days after your periods can you get pregnant? We are looking at pregnancy and then we are looking at your periods. If you see your periods today, how many days are you going to take to get pregnant? It's a commonly asked question. So before we answer this question, we shall understand that for you to get pregnant, you are supposed to be ovulating very well and then your fallopian tubes should be viable or your fallopian tubes should be open. Next thing is that your womb, your uterine womb should be free from disease. It should be free from uh, issues like fibroids or even cysts. So if you see your period today, Assuming today is the first day you've seen your periods and then the next day you're going to see your periods is maybe after 32 days or 34 days or 35 days. Then we call that length from the first day of seeing your periods to the first day of your next period. We call that your menstrual cycle. So we first of all have to understand how long your menstrual cycle is. How long does it take you to see your periods? Having understood how long your menstrual cycle is, assuming your menstrual cycle goes for 35 days, then we are supposed to first of all assess and get your ovulation day. The ovulation day is the day the egg is released and it is the 14th day from the first day you see your periods. If you see your periods today and then you are looking at calculating your ovulation day, then simply just count 14 days. And then on the 14th day, we'll say that is when your egg will be released. So what we shall have to do is we shall take the three days leading to the 14th day. The 14th day is maybe tomorrow. You begin counting from yesterday or you begin counting three days leading to ovulation or leading to the 14th day. And then also you add on two days in front. But if you are looking at getting pregnant and you have regular periods, then we advise that you begin being with your partner, you begin uh, being with your partner for at least three to four days before you see your, I mean, before your ovulation day. If you are looking at increasing the chances of you getting pregnant, be with your partner three to four days before you ovulate. The reason is that when sperm has been released, it stays in a woman's womb for at least four to five days. Whereas when an egg has been released, on the day of ovulation, it only stays or it only lasts for 12 to 24 hours, meaning roughly it stays for only one day. If it is not fertilized, then it disappears or it disintegrates. If the egg has been fertilized, then it goes on and forms a round shape known as a blastocyst, which moves through your fallopian tubes, being pushed by a process known as cilia, and then it will be pushed up to your womb where it will attach or it will implant. How many days after your periods will you be able to get pregnant? We are answering this question and we are going to proceed and say that if you saw your periods on day one, you are calculating how many days after your periods will you be able to get pregnant. You saw your periods on day one, you saw your periods on day two, and then day three. Assuming your periods go for only three days. Then the first day, second day, and third day, those are your safe days. You are not able to get pregnant when you are in your periods, and even three to four days after your period. So 
To answer the question, how many days after your periods can you get pregnant? Normally, it is five to six days. But this differs from woman to woman because there are women who have regular menstrual cycles. Regular means that if you see your periods today and then the next day you're going to see your periods is going to be on 25th, then it is a consistent schedule whereby there are no changes. Whereas if you are a woman and you have irregular periods, you see your periods today and then next month you do not see your periods and then the following month you see your periods, then it kind of becomes tricky. This method may not work for you very well. So it is always good for you to add on some other uh, some other methods on how you can really monitor your cycle very well. And when we talk about adding on some other methods, you can actually use what we call the OPK kits. OPK means the ovulation predictor kits. If you are a woman and you have irregular periods, you are trying to get pregnant but your periods are irregular, then I advise that you get what we call the ovulation predictor kits. These specifically look for hormones and they look for hormones in your urine. They look for the hormone known as the luteinizing hormone and then also there are those which have been made specifically to look for two hormones. They look for the hormone LH and then also look for estrogen hormone. So it is very important if you are trying to get pregnant to use the ovulation predictor kits and then you can also try to do other tests. For example, you need to check the overall level of your womb. You need to do what you call a pelvic ultrasound scan. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. I welcome you to my channel. If it's your first time, remember to subscribe. And then also remember to click on the join button to support our channel so that we can make more videos. And then also you can Schedule a private visit with me on my website, gerardmassathehealthedicator.com and we shall talk privately. If you've been having that question, you would like to be answered in private. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day. Bye-bye. It is the best time to take the pregnancy test. When should you take the pregnancy test? Would you like to know if you are pregnant? When should you take the pregnancy test? In this video today, we are going to discuss the best time to take the pregnancy test. If you would like to confirm when you are pregnant, then this video is for you. Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. I welcome you to our channel and on this channel, we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. Subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day. When is the best time to take the pregnancy test? Without further ado, we shall first of all understand that there are two types of pregnancy tests. The first test is where we use a sample of your urine, also known as the urine HCG test. And then the next type of pregnancy test is what we call the serological pregnancy test. The serological pregnancy test. Here we mean a sample of your blood will be taken and then it will be tested in the lab. What we normally look for is a hormone known as the HCG hormone or the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. So when this hormone has been released into your blood or when it is being released into your urine, then there are high chances that you could be pregnant. But remember, you could be having issues with the urine HCG or you could be releasing the HCG hormone and then yet you are not pregnant. So always when you are doing these tests, the pregnancy tests and the results are not conclusive, you are thinking that you are experiencing some issues with the results, then please remember to consult your doctor urgently whereby further testing will be done. The further testing we are talking about, your doctor might also request for an obstetric ultrasound scan to really confirm how your womb is, whether implantation or implantation size signs are showing on the ultrasound scan. We are talking about the best time to take the pregnancy test. When is the best time to take the pregnancy test? So having had a brief a brief uh, having had a brief introduction about the pregnancy tests and we know right now that there are two types 
of pregnancy test, the urine pregnancy test, and the serological pregnancy test. So we are going to look at when is the best time to take the pregnancy test. If you would like to know when is the best time to take the pregnancy test, for the urine HCG pregnancy test, specifically, this should be done at least one to two weeks. To be much more confirm, uh, to, to be much more sure, you actually have to wait for two weeks and then do the pregnancy test. The, for the blood HCG or the serological HCG test, the HCG hormone begins showing in your urine at least immediately after three days. So if fertilization has taken place, within three to four days, the blood HCG levels will be detected, beginning from five IU per I, five international units per I. So if at all your HCG levels begin from five IU stroke I, then it means you could actually be having an, uh, an early uh, pregnancy happening. So the most important thing we need to take here or the most important uh, point we need to take from this video is that when is the best time to do the pregnancy test? For the urine HCG test, at least wait for two weeks. Even though there are some pregnancy tests on the market which are very, very uh, sensitive, they could even detect this within at least five days or even seven days. But if you actually do the pregnancy test immediately within five days or within seven days, and probably you've used cheaper types of pregnancy HCG uh, testing strips, then you may actually need to sit down, come down, and then repeat the pregnancy test at least after 14 days. There, if you do the pregnancy test after 14 days, then there are high chances that you will be able to get accurate results. And if you do the pregnancy test and the results are not really uh, giving you what you really expected, then it is high time to consult your doctor who will go ahead and do other tests. So what are the common tests for pregnancy? What, what are the common tests for pregnancy? What tests can be requested by your doctor if you'd like to know whether you're pregnant. The first test is what we call the urine HCG pregnancy test. And we have said that it has several, several types on the market. There are several types on the market. And then there's what we call the blood HCG, which looks for the HCG hormone in your blood. And then the next pregnancy test is what we call the pelvic ultrasound scan. The pelvic ultrasound scan, specifically, it looks at your ovaries. This is when a pic pictures. This is when pictures are taken of your reproductive system. Pictures or images are taken of your womb, whereby your ovaries will be visualized. Your ovaries will be uh, analyzed to see whether you have actually sufficient follicles. The follicles are those storage for the eggs. So. If at all you do not have any follicles, then it could be that the pelvic ultrasound